on welcome back as always I hope you guys are having the best day ever before I get started guys if you are new here please subscribe if you haven't already done that we're on the road to 41,000 subscribers and I would love you guys to join me on this journey so hit subscribe right now and join the fam and also guys go follow me on all my social media links are in the description I have Facebook Twitter Instagram and snapchat so go follow me on all of those and once again I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video today we're officially on episode 18 of paranormal America traveling the 50 states of the United States heading west to east and looking at all the crazy stuff that's happening each day along the way which currently brings us to Minnesota but before we get started on that we have to jump right over to say it with me guys paranormal America Welcome to Paranormal America. So today we are talking about Nopeming Sanatorium, which is located in Duluth, Minnesota. Now this place was opened in the early 1900s, late 1800s, around that era, and uh, a lot of crazy stuff happened here. Now this place was named by the Chippewa Indians, and it's believed to have been a place, a sacred place where the, the Indians would take the sick to be healed. Now the sanatorium was built to quarantine people who were sick with TB, just like the previous video about North Dakota. And just like that video of North Dakota, the doctors really didn't have a clue how to deal with this. They didn't know what to do. Um, so thousands and thousands of people were dying here. Doctors were also doing things such as surgery, m removing ribs, um, and just horrific things you can imagine. Now the sanatorium was featured on Ghost Adventures and um, the, the crew actually met up with a guy named Mike who worked there for 16 years. He eventually left in 1963. He, he even talked about how he was asked to help. He was like a janitor. He was asked to help perform surgeries and help uh, remove people's lungs and remove people's ribs and stuff like that and then carry the bodies down to the morgue. So it was a pretty nasty place. And as I said in the other video, this was also very similar. It was just like a prison for the people inside. So much so that they had to put bars on the windows because people were jumping to escape this place. People were jumping to their deaths out of the window. People decided to commit suicide and jump out of the windows. So they had to bar the windows just like a prison. Now anybody who visits this place describes the feeling as being very heavy, very overwhelming very dark, very, very compact, as if people were just like crammed into this box, and it's not a very nice feeling at all. People who were victims at this place also used to try and escape the tunnels, which lead to, the underground tunnels lead to different parts of the, the buildings and different places like the morgue. The tunnel that actually goes to the morgue is actually called Death Tunnel, and people used to go into the tunnels and try and escape, and it was just not a nice place to be. Now on Ghost Adventures, they actually interviewed a guy who trespassed on this land. This place is against the law to go there. You can't go there unless you have permission. Um, nobody's been there before. The Ghost Adventures team were the first paranormal investigators to go there. Um, and they interviewed this guy who broke the law. He crossed in there. He climbed over the fence. Uh, he completely ignored the no trespassing signs. He went in there and they interviewed him because he had some experiences too. Now the trespasser described going in there and seeing these balconies, which were all completely barred. You couldn't jump out of there because so many people jumped off and killed themselves that he described as he was walking in there he could see people black figures like almost as if they were transparent shadowy type things um he looked up at these like there's like four floors of balconies and he could see people shadows of people looking through the railings on the balconies now that must have been terrifying i can imagine seeing those trapped souls behind bars it must have just been horrible. Now, other people who work there and go there and do whatever they do there, because this place is completely like a band, and um, they've described seeing shadows, seeing mist, um, full body apparitions, the people who have have malfunctioning cameras, just like that happened in Ghost Adventures. There was a, a camera that malfunctioned. There was a, a light that was mal malfunctioning. There was a, like a flashlight. And as he was turning on the flashlight, it was just like lighting up the hall, the dark hall, and going off again in a flash. But when they played it back in slow motion, you could see the shadow of a figure. You could clearly see it was a hard, 
human figure and it was standing there against the wall. It was like in, right in front of the, the flashlight, I guess, and the camera caught the shadow on the wall. Now, other people have described being grabbed, being touched, hearing doors slam, really loud noises. People have felt the overwhelming need to cry and just felt that it's too dark in there. There's something wrong with this place. So this place really doesn't sound like a place I would like to be alone, but you should see it, guys. It's, it looks pretty terrifying actually in there. It's very scary. Um, but it could be another place that we can add on our list when we, when one day we go on these adventures together and we start going around to these places and visiting them. So this is another one to add to the list. Hi guys. So it's time for question of the day, guys. Would you like to come visit this place with me one day? That is question of the day. Let me know in the comment section. Magic 8 Ball. If me and some of the What Shall We Do Next The Kins visited this place, would anything happen to us? You may rely on it. Woo! Now also you guys know I've started this thing called Random Fact of the Day where I like to poison your heads with powerful knowledge so that y'all don't have to go to school anymore. And today's Random Fact of the Day is did you know more people are afraid of spiders than death? Now that's pretty insane because what could be worse than dying? Like what is it about spiders that scare us so much? Because I think the worst thing that could happen is you could get killed by one but then isn't that dying and you're not afraid of dying? as much as you are getting bit by the spider or whatever i don't know i am definitely one of those people though i don't fear death that much i don't think about it but i definitely fear spiders like whenever i walk into a room my initial reaction is to look around the corners look around the, the corners of the room the ceiling see how many spiders are there um yeah i'm definitely a, a spider fearer arachnophobic that is all for now guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button down below and let's see if we can go for three likes on this video that would make me very happy and remember the most important thing guys chase your dreams